why wouldn't you want extra credit going into college? I get to be in college a whole year ahead as a sophomore. You can even be in college as a semester ahead and be ahead of everyone in your class. Also, why would you want to be the newbie on campus when you go to college? Get a little experience under your belt so you can blend right in. Okay, so if they take a college class while they're in high school, it can help them stay prepared for their actual career and if they take any class and they want to take them to college. Students that take CCP classes while in high school get the advantage of having that college experience, whether it's online or it's at the campus. You get college hours that can be contributed to any college that will accept them, and you're ahead of the game. Career in College Promise is a free program, so why not take advantage of it? I get to go to classes for free, attend college for free, and get my books for free. I mean, free is the key word here. So why not be a CCP student and join me at JCC? Um, exposes you to new things and lets you get hands-on experiences. One thing that I liked as a very memorable experience from taking CCP classes was being able to be in that college atmosphere inside of a college classroom, being able to relate some of the topics and mm -hmm. learn through other students inside of a college class. I thought that helped me a lot and it's helped me mature into a more well-rounded student. You don't know what it is until you try it. So join CCP. All you have to do is take one class like I did as a sophomore, kind of get used to it, fall in love with it, and now I'm taking three or four classes just to get college credit so I can start and be ahead of the game. You should really take these classes because they're really good for you. I tried to drop this class at the beginning of the semester and my guidance counselor wanted to let me and then a few weeks and months into the class I really started enjoying it and I'm so glad I did it. For those that haven't taken CCP classes and are not involved in these classes, they need to do so. These classes, they just, they overall benefit you no matter which way you look at it. They help you prepare yourself more, they help you become a more mature student, and they allow you to earn hours that you might not be able to earn later down the road in your day. As a junior, I took both English 111 and 112, which is the freshman English classes required by Avery College in North Carolina. So I was ahead of the game there, and I also took an ACA class, which got me introduced into the college atmosphere and prepared me for what I'd see in the future. As a senior, I have taken both college algebra and psychology. Both of those classes are also accredited, accredited to my college experience. And currently, I'm taking public speaking, business law, and art appreciation. Now those might seem crazy classes, but they're required in college, so why not go ahead and take them? Um, some of the classes that I have taken in CCP were English 111 and 112, which really helped me become a more grammatical, proper student. It's helped me through essays, junior paper, it helped me through a lot of things that I wasn't prepared for. And I also took Biology 111 and 112 at JCC. This also helped me expand my comfort zone, allowed me to find other things that I wasn't comfortable with and made me become more comfortable and a more well-rounded student. And in return, I have 18 hours going into whichever college I choose, which is an amazing thing and I'm really thankful for it. It's all about time management. We have power, so why not use it? During power, I use that to do my college classes and take advantage of the online resources we have here at South, as well as work on my South Johnson homework. And without this power, I wouldn't have been able to stay ahead of the game. So whenever I have an online assignment, I can easily do that during power, get that done so when I get home, I'm not stressed out about a senior project or something I had going on. Now, it does get a little stressful, but all you have to do is just manage your time and you'll be on the right path. In the college class, it's less sitting in the classroom and listening and writing notes. It's more getting out there and doing the hands-on and enjoying yourself, helping others create stuff and do stuff. Taking both high school and college classes at the same time 
has to be a priority. You have to set it first because there is a lot of work that comes with it. In doing this, you get rewarded very well. You just have to take the time to do your homework and focus on both classes, both high school and college, and just think about the reward in the end. It'll be worth it.